you're crazy. Am I a psycho? There are some people out there that will get more upset about a professional counselor using profanity than they get about Flint, Michigan still not having clean water. We all have big emotions and we all deserve to be able to express those big emotions, but we're all guilty of allowing ourselves to be emotionally constipated. Well, I was taught that marriage was the goal, that that's a thing that we are to aspire to do. That's why I got married when I was 23. When my kids were little, it was certainly demanding. I was exhausted. But now that they're teenagers, I am so stinking tired all the time. Struggling with insomnia is pretty difficult. I can't fall asleep at night and I'm pretty tired in the morning. Something happened to my child and you know, I mean, I know things happen, you know, I can't watch them all the time and they ended up getting hurt and it's unfortunate, but you know, and I feel bad, but it's just one of those things that happens. Emotional constipation can cause increased levels of the stress hormone cortisol, inauthentic communication, and relationship struggles. Holding that stuff in doesn't feel good. It makes it worse. It's okay to just let it rip. And sometimes that means using profanity. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I don't know. When I was 23, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted. I got married way too fucking young. Why didn't anybody fucking tell me? But now that my kids are teenagers, I'm so fucking frustrated all the time. I'm so damn tired. <laughs> if insomnia was a person, it would be an asshole. I'm exhausted at night and I can't fall asleep. And then I wake up in the morning with these asshole bags under my eyes that you could pack an entire 2,500 square foot house into. I'm going crazy. Why the fuck wasn't I there? I'm such an asshole parent. That son of a bitch hurt my kid and there's nothing I can fucking do about it. Move that toxic emotion out of your system, reducing the stress hormone cortisol and helping you feel better. Grab your smartphone, turn on the video, switch it to selfie mode, and use profanity and vent a little bit about the big emotions that you're having. When you're done, notice how much better you're gonna feel, and then delete the video. Nobody has to know.